And everybody is set for this matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cincinnati Bengals here at Paul Brown Stadium. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. Cowboys will be kicking off. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. first down as they head to the line to the ground here now cutting to the right side looking for some open space the all tackle run is just what it says it is you're going to read the tackle spot and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside usually this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. taking off touchdown eagle Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Bengals for the point after. Extra point is good. Bengals ready for action. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. Murray, left side, and he'll step out of bounds. You got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short gains. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. Offense lines up here. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. Kill, 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 kill. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. First and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch and he's got the first. The big thing about running the curl route, once you see the football, you have to keep moving and attack it. Don't stand there and wait for the football to get to you. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Romo's got it in the gun. Tony Romo uncorks the loop. Intercepted by Reggie Nelson. He's brought to a halt. 
that interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Corners formation here for the defense. First and ten, handoff. He's headed right. Holds him to a yard. Number 12. Let's roll! Let's roll! One yard gain on the play. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Johnson's going to take it from the gun. Throws to the right. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field. Play tight, man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. Third down and eight. He's looking to the right. That ball is going the other way. That'll stop the play right there. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Shotgun look here for Tony Romo. Romo's back in shotgun formation. He had no time to get set. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second attempt. Looking long. Des Bryant is there. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Offense lines up here. Here it's a third and ten. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Number nine, Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Ooh, they failed to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. The Bengals come out with a split backfield. First and ten. Deflected away. Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Ohio! Ohio! Two tight ends. On second and ten, they hand it off to the running back. Five, maybe six out of that. Third down here, offense, trying to pick up the first. They'll run it, here's the handoff. A tackle that had to be made, that'll set up fourth down. It's a two tight end formation. a strike. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call and they pick up the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Hand off to the pack. Brought down right at the 50. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Ohio! Ohio! Quarters formation Ohio. here for the defense. Johnson standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. That ball has been picked off. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception.
First down on the way. Looking to the right side and throwing. They pick up the first down with that reception. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Murray's got it now. Counter run play. When you have a defense that's not playing good techniques, they're selling out. Overplaying plays while you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Second down and one. Out of the eye, they give it to the tailback. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive, proud of the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Third and four. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Run it again. Hey, up the middle, and that gets the first down. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it, and they get it. Good job. Behind up in the pistol formation. Now first and ten. He gets it again on this drive. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The Cowboys still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Williams going to get set in the slot for this snap. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. He's in the clear. The 10. Touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run. Nice catch. Touchdown. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Greens lined up in the slot. Out of the shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. That catch gives them a first down. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. First and ten. They give it to him on the counter. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. At that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Incomplete. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Offense lines up here. Third and 12. That catch, good for a first down. 
Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. They bring him to the turf. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. First and 10, back to the ground now on first down. They tackle him for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Offense lines up here. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. They've got a first down now after that catch. From the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. That is play number 10 on this drive. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. And the quarterback is taken down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. And he's going to pitch it here. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Johnson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them, here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Play action. Watch, catch. And it's Reggie Nelson in on that last play. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. And not until they pick up good yardage as he brought down. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Powers his way across. Touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready, they get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. Cowboys will be kicking off. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. the Bengals in the pistol the wide receiver in motion first and ten running back gets it on the handoff to the right side gains 15 good job that time by the running back I'm sure he's a little winded after that play he showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards First down, it's back to the ground game. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Halftime, two minutes away.
Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and 11. This is a screen play all the way. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That reception gave them the first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Gresham's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Second and ten. Screen pass. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Johnson's got it in the gun. Eyeing that left side. Catch is made. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Play number six coming up on this drive. Into the open flat. That pass was hurried. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. He's walked. Touchdown, Cincinnati Bengals. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down, offense readying for the snap. Screen. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. In for the score, Dallas. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score. Touchdown, pretty exciting stuff. The Cowboys now will tack on the extra point. Oh, he actually misses the point after. Go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bengals team official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. He'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Gresham's playing out of position in the backfield here. Setting up screen. Sticks to his hands. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Under fire on that throw. Second down following that incompletion.
looking for an open receiver on the right. Drops the pass. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. And they can't connect. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Quarters formation here for the defense. Going across the middle, wide open for the catch. The Bengals use another timeout here, and they have one left. Ohio, 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 Ohio. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Trying to work that left side. Touchdown! What a tough play of catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Bengals can take the lead with the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Bengals ready for action. He's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Cowboys will look to get set. It's been a close game so far. The score is 22 to 20. This will be the last play before halftime. First down and 10. They're setting up screen. The Cowboys get a first down. That'll wrap up the second quarter here in the Queen City of Cincinnati. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second half. We're back here now in this one where the Bengals are leading by two. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. And he begins his return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down here. Romo still got the football after the play fake. And it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. Second and ten. Murray, left side, steps out of bounds. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Third down, following the run. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Intercepted. They got to be able to do everything. You got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the line. They come to the line, and it's first down. 
looking to scramble, has the reception all alone. That's nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Ohio! 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 Let's see what they do on first down, following that huge play. running a little college-like option. That's a three-yard game. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second and goal from the six. What a catch. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. And he'll start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 32-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Set up screen. And that'll be good for the first. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Williams, a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Throws to the right. The pass complete. Ball is out. The defense has it. The tackle is made. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your... your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Offense lines up here on second and ten. AJ Green with an amazing catch. Man, that was some kind of catch that time by the receiver. Ooh, boy, these receivers, they make quarterbacks look good. You're right. You can throw it off target. It doesn't matter. They find a way to come up with the catch. First and ten. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps with the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kill. The Bengals for the point after. Count it. Bengals ready for action. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. And Williams is in the slot. First and 10. Action fake. Perfectly thrown. Good for 18. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. 
He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. And almost picked off. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Midway into the third, looking to the right side and throwing. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Can't hold on. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Robo's going to take it from the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old hogs up front. They're pretty strong, so it's fourth down. Go for it, and you pick it up. First down here after the completion. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. That's Romo over to his buddy Witten on that play. Find the way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Throws to the right. And it's Ray Maluga who makes the hit. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Murray's handed the football. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hanum. Signaling for fair catch. We'll send him to the 20-yard line. Gresham's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Screen play is on. He makes the catch. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. When the defense is going to play safe, and they don't want you to run by him, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards your sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. They run right. He's got a little bit of daylight here. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The defense gets a sack. This defense is awesome at blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. shotgun great coverage there on that pass attempt incompletion by the quarterback that time it was good tight man-to-man -man coverage The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. A.J. Green there with sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. 
He's looking to the right here on this throw. Pushes aside one tackler. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This play set up by the long gainer. Screen set up here with two hands. He has it for about five. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That wraps up the third quarter here in Cincinnati, and we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. Ohio! Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Final quarter underway now. Ball's picked off. Tackles made. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. First down coming up. Romo's back in shotgun formation. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Romo standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Gain of 17. In this lead now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. you got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man cover. The formation here, shotgun. And incomplete. Second down coming up. Looking to the right side and throwing. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. It's intercepted! Say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and ten. They give it to the running back. Running to the right. Bringing the play to an end. Jim, sooner or later, if you get in these situations, you got to throw the football. And as we have seen today, they keep trying to run it, but there's not much there to go. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Second down and nine. They'll go ground. Running to the left side. Gains five. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Back to the ground. The Bengals now move the chains. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And 
And at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. The Bengals will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Searching for space to the right. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there. No doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and six. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. defense. Still first down. Able to move the chains after that penalty. Green's going to take the handle. The ball is out. The defense has the football. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Cowboys official. Brandon Carr's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. First and ten. Tony Romo hits Jason Witten with that pass. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by it. First and ten. And he's going to be brought down. And this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. Tony Romo uncorks the long pass. He's brought down. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The throw to the left. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position. Sees the ball thrown and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second down coming up. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. There's a nice touchdown there, and you chip it away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? If you hear the word choke, yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The point after try is in the books. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. First and ten. Complete. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Gresham's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and ten. 
Setting up a little screen. And complete. Gain of seven. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. The Bengals come out in the pistol. Second down, three to go. Greens taking the handoff. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Gresham's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. This is a screen play all the way. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Ohio! 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 Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here it's a second and ten. Completion this time, down to the 15. This is where an offensive coordinator's got to be smart. You get the red zone, you got a big lead, just worry about the clock, all very safe plays. Ohio! 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 That long gain sets them up here on this play. He'll fire it out to the left. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Takes the knee. Lining up for a 35-yard field goal. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. <laughs> 